The newest smartphone out of HTC needs no introduction, so let's not waste any time. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing and hardware tour of the new HTC One. This device isn't just important to HTC, it's crucial to its survival. As the vanguard of a new design language with new construction materials and an entirely new Android skin, the One sets the tone for all HTC devices launching this year. And judging from the packaging, it's obvious that HTC knows exactly how important this device is. The rounded corners catch the eye nicely, and the plastic film helps convey the impression that what's inside is valuable. And that's backed up by the spec sheet, printed right on the outside for us to gawk at. Highlights include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor at 1.7 GHz, and that's quad-core, 32 gigs of storage with 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM, a 4.7-inch Full HD 1080p display at 468 PPI, special HTC value adds like boom sound, built-in amplifiers in the speakers, Beats Audio, and an ultra-pixel camera with Zoe functionality as well as some clever pixel manipulation tricks, and the usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, GPS, etc. And finally, this box is 98% recyclable, proving that you don't need to throw a phone in a cafeteria lunch carton to be green. That's nice. Now that that's out of the way, let's open this sucker up. We're left with a box made of premium feeling cardboard just begging to be opened, and here we go. There she is. New HTC One, front and center. Convenient pull tab down here to get the device out of its cradle. HTC calling out three features right on the protector. Blink feed, boom sound, and Zoe. Sounds like a crazy independent film. Let's put the device aside for one second. Pop open the protective cover. HTC has included service and repair labels so that they don't have to gum up the outside of the device with cheesy looking barcodes, that's very nice. Here's our SIM removal tool with some visual instructions on exactly how to use it. Instructions on how to insert your micro SIM card, warranty statement, safety and regulatory guides. Pretty typical micro USB cable. Some prepackaged headphones on our global unit. Very, very nice. And the by now standard HTC wall plug with European adapter. Now before I even take the HTC One out of its protective swaddling here, the cool aluminum is just radiating coolness through the plastic film. It definitely, you can tell right away that this is a metal phone. And uh, as far as its weight goes, it's 143 grams feel excellent in the hand. It actually feels a bit heavier than that. It's hard to believe this isn't, uh, this isn't even 10 grams heavier than the Samsung Galaxy S3, which as we've said many times feels a little too light to us. Let's go ahead and take this protective covering off of here. Protective covering also covered in instructions for uh, SIM removal, just in case you missed it on the first go around. And here is the brand new device fresh out of the packaging. That aluminum just shines under our studio lights here. Coming back around to the front of the display and boy, you get that plastic off of there and you can really, really feel that aluminum. It's, uh, it is impressive. I actually didn't expect it to feel quite this good even though I knew that I should expect it to feel this good. It's uh, tough to communicate how much more premium this device feels in the hand than uh, a lot of others, even after only about 10 seconds of exposure. This is something else. But let's get down to business. We've got a job to do. Up front here is a 4.7 inch display. It is Super LCD 3 and it is 468 PPI, which is incredible. We're gonna power that on in a minute. It is obviously capacitive multi-touch with the usual array of light sensors, proximity sensors, and so forth. And there's that beveled edge surrounding it or the chamfered edge, if you prefer. Take it over to the right-hand side. We've got our volume rocker, very, very similar to the one on the Droid DNA, but we're gonna take a closer look at the similarities and differences later today between those two devices. Around bottom, just to be unconventional, we'll go there first. That is a micro USB port along with the microphone. 
And on the back of the device, we've got that backside illuminated four megapixel sensor with uh, what HTC is calling their ultra pixel technology and a, a bevy of features that we're not gonna get into right at the moment, but as you can see, have quite a large lens there, along with a uh, LED flash, the HTC branding in the center, the Beats audio called out down below, and the additional noise canceling microphone for what HTC is calling Sense Voice. Power standby button up top uh, next to the headphone jack three and a half millimeter, of course, uh, pretty easy to reach the power standby button if you hold the phone up here. If you are holding it down here, that's going to be a little bit of a stretch for you, but we'll talk about that. Coming back around to the front of the device, you've got the HTC branding there along with the home button and the back key right where it should be on the left, along with one of the two front firing speakers that provide that HTC boom sound audio, which we will talk about and which we are really looking forward to getting our ears on because front firing speakers make a whole lot of sense to us. The camera up top is a 2.1 megapixel unit with a wide angle lens with room enough for you and three of your friends to get in the shot or at least two of them. And to conclude this uh, quick unboxing, we're gonna go ahead and power the unit on. One, two, three. Woo! Getting a taste of that boom sound already. That was a very, very loud greeting from the device. Definitely lets you know when it is awake. And there it is, the new version of the lock screen shipping on the new version of HTC Sense, Sense 5. I'll just go ahead and unlock it here so you can see the home screen. And here's our welcome screen, encouraging us to set this up with our own preferred language, which we will do right now. And as HTC prompts us to set up our brand new device, we will do so, but we're going to do it off camera. Don't worry though, we'll be back very soon. Folks, that's going to do it for us, but stay tuned for a lot more on the HTC One, including comparison videos and, of course, our full review. So follow us in all the usual places, subscribe in all the usual manners. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.